lot of trauma from that. Life doesn't go back to normal um, once they're released from prison. They suffer, uh, have to face a lot of challenges. And uh, basically, um, what I wanted to focus on was what kind of helps them get back on track. Um, so basically, uh, one of the most important things that people rely on once they're released from prison are assistance programs. Um, unfortunately, there aren't very many across the states right now. Um, one of the ones around here is Loyola's Life After Innocence program, and uh, what most of the few programs that exist focus on, they look at, uh, they help with counseling. Um, many of the victims suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder, as well as many different anxiety disorders, and you know they need someone to talk to to kind of help them get their lives back on track. Uh, a lot of them have, everybody has trouble finding jobs, so they kind of help with job placement. And uh, they also have declined medical health, um, dental, so they um, provide that, support groups, housing, and then relationship stuff, and uh, also expungement. Um, some problems, again, uh, there's no government programs to help right now. They're all privately owned programs that currently exist and they also have limited resources. Uh, the counseling, nobody is currently trained to provide specific uh, counseling for those kind of victims, so there's problems with that. Now, expungement is basically clear in the record um, of the conviction. In the United States, it is referred to as expungement. And they do need court documents, they have to fill out applications, um, they have to have the police reports and charges, all of that to even you know apply for expungement. Um, in Illinois, it does take four years before they can even apply. Um, it does take a couple years everywhere in the United States. And uh, past that, it can even take uh, additional weeks and months before they're even cleared. And many are not eligible for that. Um, in the UK, it is referred to as spent conviction. They, again, need court documents, charges, and they need to have proof of their innocence to be um, eligible for this. Basically, um, they have to wait on a rehabilitation period, which is based off of the sentence that they were given. Um, most, they need to still inform uh, future employers about the, uh, about the conviction. It doesn't just basically disappear. Uh, step down is basically a term when their records are completely cleared. That is not until someone is proven completely innocent, and then it'll be only visible to law enforcement. Uh, compensation is arguably one of the most important things when it comes to getting their lives back on track. Um, the Innocence Protection Act uh, was, of 2004 was passed and uh, referred to compensation. Um, they had a recommendation of $50,000 per year of wrongful imprisonment and then $100,000 per year if they were on death row. Uh, all the states basically vary on what they allow um, for compensation. Only 27 states currently have set compensation <coughs> laws. Illinois um, currently awards $83,350 or $85,350 uh, for those serving up to five years, $170,000 for those between five and 14 years, and then $199,150 for those serving more than 14 years. Um, around 45% of exonerees receive compensation, so obviously that's less than half. And uh, ranges for compensation across the United States have been about $25,000 to $12.2 million. Um, in the UK, the Criminal Justice Act of 1988 was passed uh, that allowed for a maximum of £1 million where they have been detained at least 10 years, below 10 years to a maximum of £500,000 in any other case. And then, of course, it's often lowered for that. Um, this is a chart kind of showing the United States uh, compensation depending on what kind of compensation they went for. Uh, the first one is kind of an average between the rest of them. And then depending on private or civil against like police officers or just like the state, uh, it ranges from less than a year to up to 14 years. Um, in a quick conclusion, um, basically some changes that would be helpful for the future. Since the United States currently does not have any current set across the entire states about the amount of compensation, that would be a good place to start. Um, while the UK does have a set compensation, once you kind of divide it out, it's really not a lot, so there's a room for improvement on their end as well. Um, in addition, the most important thing they could do is provide government programs that would 
help exonerees get their lives back on track and provide them the much needed counseling, job placement, and support they need um, just to continue their lives. minutes after six. I know that some people have other classes um, and I know everyone has like studying that they have to do but I think that if, if there's any burning questions that folks in the audience want to ask that we could take a very few minutes for those. Are there any? No? All right. Well there will probably be a little bit of time to you know maybe uh, circulate um, as you're having maybe some food to take with you. And I just wanted to congratulate all of the researchers that presented today. I thought that you sounded better than a lot of